All right. Down to the airbase. All right. This should be a good spot, because we got to order one anyway. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. And today we're going to order ourselves a new aircraft for the hangar. Well, I guess for the hangar. For Pegasus vehicles, too. Yeah. So we're going to order ourselves the uh, Buckingham Valkyrie. Yeah. So let's get to it. We'll order that. I'm at the end of another sale. It's a uh, Pegasus sale, so you might want to keep your eye open for a sale if you want one of these vehicles, the Valkyrie. Or just keep your eye open for a Pegasus sale. Sometimes they do a sale on everything to do with Pegasus or everything to do with a certain website, like a Warstock sale. So this is under Warstock Cash and Carry. And it seats four, and we'll get to more on that in a minute. Let's see. All the way down, 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 down. Down, there it is. Part of the heist updates. Seats four. Yeah. So you do get the trade price after you've completed the Humane Labs um, rate which is the third grade. So normally it's $3,790,500. Yeah, right there. And uh, after the trade price, it's normally $2,850,000. Now with the 40% off, we're getting it for well, 2.6 million. So it's too bad I don't have that, but that's okay. That's okay. It's still a lower price than the, uh, than the regular trade price. So that's good by me. So instantly recognizable to any connoisseur of military themed action movies, the Valkyrie has more Vinewood credits to its name than Jack Howitzer. One of the few survivors of the 1960s war effort that the American government is still willing to invest in. <laughs> yep. So let's uh, buy that, and then we'll talk some more about it. Purchase spending? Just like that. Doesn't even ask, because it's a Pegasus vehicle, so there's no uh, place for it to go. It just goes into the Pegasus inventory. All right. We've purchased it. Very cool. Just before the sale ended. <laughs> so why buy one of these vehicles? Well, I would tell you guys that I generally... Um, well, I guess I would say I don't recommend this aircraft unless you have the extra money for it and uh, for certain situations. So the two main reasons why I'm buying this aircraft are first because of it being a collector's item, in my opinion, you know, as they kind of mentioned, it is kind of an aircraft connoisseur kind of thing. When you think of uh, attack gunships, you know, when you think of those kinds of things, attack helicopters, it's hard not to think of the UH-1 uh, Huey, you know, and all the, 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 the uh, Vietnam movies and all those kinds of things, specifically Apocalypse Now. Um, if you asked an artist to draw a picture of gunships, I'm sure that the Huey would show up, right? It's easily one of the top recognizable uh, aircraft that way. So to me, it's kind of a collector item. Now, next to that, it's good for, um, for um, uh, uh, friends, for teammates. So let's order one in here. Should be ready by now. So, Pegasus. Now, you can put one in your hangar if you have one, like we have right there. And we're going to do that Hello, in a moment. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? There it is right here. The Valkyrie. Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. Thank you. Where is it? Let's uh, jump on our presser here. Mm hmm. Over here, over here. So there she is in stock. All right. Let's see what we got on the front here this time. Come and take it. <laughs> I don't know if you're saving up that crystal for... I'm saving it up for more money. Uh, I've spent some. <laughs> You'll have to wait, LJD. So there she is. All right. I wonder if maybe we'll uh, we'll fly away and try to see if we can see some of the other uh, uh, front hoods. Your new Valkyrie is now confirmed available from Pegasus. Yeah, I'd say so. So, operated by Meriwether and the U.S. Army. So as you can see on the front here, we've got this hood decal, come and take it, and there are two other kinds, the, uh, the white uh, spade and uh, the um, uh, Miss Zancudo. So I think we might see if we can see if we can get the other one. Hmm. No. Might have to fly away. I haven't called Pegasus twice in a row in a long time. Let's see. Do I have to fly away? Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Now, apparently, they can sometimes spawn with no decal. And I wouldn't worry too much about getting the right decal. I'll come and take it. And probably, uh, probably keep spawning the wrong, the wrong one until I, until I change it. Well, maybe we'll try one more time, right? One more try. But I got a feeling that once it spawns it with a certain decal, it probably just keeps spawning it that way until I leave the Hello, server or something. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? If I change sessions, the it'll probably is give me a different for you one. at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Our most sincere apologies, mm. sir. We have been unable to move your vehicle to a suitable location. <laughs> uh, okay. Pegasus has failed us. <laughs> Still here. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. <laughs> our most sincere apologies, sir. We have been unable to move your vehicle to a... <laughs> On that note, let's fly away. <laughs> we'll come right back. Yeah, so three different decals and possibly none. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about the decal on there. I just wanted to kind of show you guys because apparently it's kind of bugged. It's known to uh, 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 regress to other ones. It's known to disappear and go to no decal. So I'm going to try to get us a good one here, but apparently it's known to revert anyway. So I wouldn't recommend uh, spending too much time on it. But maybe some of you have already experienced it, and you can let us know in the comments Hello, if, uh, if it stays for you. Lifestyle management. How can I, help? I couldn't get, seem to get an up-to-date answer on that. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. So, yeah, like I said, team play. So why buy one of these? Well, when you're... Uh, sometimes I've had times where, where I've... Uh, I've had more than uh, a couple players, so if you got one person, that's really easy. And there's lots of good vehicles like the Oppressor and uh, lots of other great vehicles. Um, when you start getting into one or two people, you know, there's still good vehicles like the Hunter, you know, the Apache helicopter and things like that, uh, maybe the Pyro, things like that. But generally speaking, there's not too much um, other players can do when you start getting to three and four players, you know, without having different vehicles. This is one of the few vehicles where it gives us somebody, or so yeah, everybody, something to do. So everybody's got something. So there's two side guns. So a seat's four and two side guns. And the pilot itself would be flying, of course. And then you've got the co-pilot, who can also use this minigun right here, which is an actually an explosive cannon. Now, downside is this does not have a great range, but these miniguns do. And they also have a great targeting uh, range. They can shoot straight up and almost straight and forward. And we got Miss Sankudo here too, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right. So the other uh, decal that you can also get is the white spade, which is just like a, a spade on a playing deck of cards. Yeah. But I think I'm going to take in Miss Sankudo. Like I said, it'll probably revert on us anyway. Don't know why we got the motorcycle helmet today. <laughs> Actually, let's join up the company, because sometimes helping it helps uh, being in the company or in an MC to be able to just see these different spots. So usually, to try the different spots on a vehicle, you hold down the get in vehicle, or the get in button. So instead of just tapping it, hold it down. And oftentimes, not always, it can be a little finicky. Sometimes you have to stand in different places, but sometimes you can get them to, uh, to hop in the different seating without having other players around. So as you can see, it's got a great range. If you, uh, if you hop in on other vehicles, you'll notice that they usually have a very limited range. You know, you're quite often trying to get the arc and the guy's just to the right and you just can't turn it. But this one, you can almost shoot right in front. Well, you practically can shoot in front. Yeah, it's got a great arc. Very cool. All right, so I'd see the other one, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what the other one would be like. <laughs> Let's see if we can hop in the cockpit. No, co-pilot. No, we won't be able to. It'll just put us in the pilot seat anyway. It's too bad, because when you hop in the co-pilot, you do get a little camera view, much like uh, other helicopters, and you can use the gun from there. Yeah, that gun right in the middle. So let's get this painted. So it's a Pegasus vehicle. It's always available to me through Pegasus. Now that said, in today's modern times, since Smugglers Run, you can also have a hangar, and then you can also have a personal uh, vehicle. A personal version, which is kind of like a duplicate, really. That was really strange. <laughs> oh, I think it's because my hangar's full. I forgot to get it ready because we were low on time for the for the sale. I usually have a little spot ready, but I think I'm gonna have to get it out of storage. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Maybe we'll put it right here in the middle. Storage. Agree. Oh, I guess I can't put it in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it in our savage place for the moment. Savage will come back here later. That way we can have a few of the helicopters out at the same time. So there's our savage right there. Another great helicopter. 
But again, you know, uh, people can hang on the side and shoot their own weapons, but there's really only so much you, you can really do in a lot of these vehicles. The Hunter is an excellent vehicle. It's probably the one I'd recommend uh, the most. Um, it's got one of the best uh, second player guns in the game. So it's got a, a camera stabilizer on that gun and that's a great little explosive gun. But again, it only seats two. There's things like the, ha the uh, stealth helicopter over here, the Arakula, and it seats four and it's great. It's a stealth helicopter. But there's really only things, uh, there's really only things for the co-pilot and for the pilot. Yeah, the back two seats, uh, at least they have cameras in the back two seats so they can see thermal and night vision, but that's really all they can do. So if you want something for friends like I've had, so I've had situations where it gets kind of boring for people as you're uh, talking away or as you're uh, running CEO missions and, uh, you know, people like having a gun to shoot or aim or things to do, right? And a helicopter like this, if you ask me, is the perfect one. So it gives something for everybody to do. Yeah, let's hop in and paint it. I think I'm going to go black though, you know, kind of a stealth helicopter. Yep, no starting yet. Yeah, modify. Charlie. So, because like most other aircraft that are pre smugglers run, it has no options other than a respray. So, there's no, no um, uh, countermeasures or flares or anything like that, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Crow. <laughs> Not too bad. Let's have a look at metals. So, there's your brushed steel, brushed black steel, brushed aluminum. Pure gold, brushed gold. All right, brushed black steel is not too bad at all. And our regular colors. See if I can. Hmm. Now sometimes it'll give you a different camera angle, but looks like we're not we're only we're not going to get any different one today. Looks like that's the only one for this one. So it does have a primary and secondary color, which looks like it's mainly just the nose. Oh, and as you guys can see, that decal disappeared on us. See, no decal anymore. So like I was saying, it has a tendency to disappear. Too bad. I liked our Miss Ancuda. Too bad. All right. So no liveries or anything like that, no camos or anything like that. It's too bad. You know, you'd think Rockstar would be pretty easy for them to let you use your camos. Um, some of those camos are unlocked with the bunker, so why not uh, let people use them wherever they can, right? It takes unlock research. It takes research time, so in a sense, it's kind of money, right? So why not let people use it more often? Not that I'd necessarily pick one. Kind of a naval Huey there. Yeah, let's see. So it look good in browns and greens, maybe even light blues, tans, any of those matte colors as well. Yeah, pretty cool. But a basic helicopter, not many options to it. There's your shiny black. I'm going to switch over to matte. I think I'm going to go with matte black. Kind of give it a stealth look. For quick runs in the night. I do like the black, but I think it's almost too black. If that can be a thing. I think I might go with gray instead of black. Yeah, gray. 2050. Sure does look good. All right, secondary color. No, not chrome. <laughs> Looks like it's already a matte black for the secondary. I think I might leave it in matte black. Doesn't look like it's the belly or anything, no. Just just the nose. I'll give it a, a an olive or a dark earth nose. It actually goes not too bad with it. Yeah, I think we'll keep it in black. I like that. Alright, exit the hangar. Ooh, we got an objective complete mod vehicle. <laughs> So there she is inside. Vertical speed, our airspeed, our altimeter, right above the airspeed. Yeah, nice, easy to read uh, gauges. Not bad. Feels kind of smooth. So let's land it here.
<laughs> a little bit of a rough landing. So, yeah, most people think this is mainly based on the uh, Bell UH-1Y Venom, which is basically a uh, upgraded uh, helicopter that was based on the older UH-1 Iroquois, uh, which most people nicknamed the Huey, the famous Huey. And we've gone over those three hood decals, and now you guys got to see the one that's uh, that's blank, basically. So it's too bad that go, that goes blank. I would have liked to have kept my uh, decal on there. And she's faster than the buzzards. Let's take off. But she is not necessarily quick compared to jets or or other helicopters and stuff. But faster than your basic helicopters, faster than your your CEO buzzard and things like that. Yeah. But like I said, the main reason I'd buy this is for collectors and for um, team play. When you when you you know want your uh, three other friends and yourself to all have something to do, somebody to fly, a couple other people for shooting, it's perfect. No weapons for the pilot. Which is too bad. It's too bad I can't use that gun. I think I've said that on a couple other vehicles too, that you know they should let the pilot use that gun. Even if it's just a straight fire gun, like which would really be almost useless. Like, you know, it's so hard to aim straight in front of you in a helicopter like this. But at least it would be something. You know, I could scare away people maybe sometimes with it or something. Newbies would run. <laughs> Not knowing any better. I don't know. But it's too bad that the pilot can't do anything with it. I retire out of my helicopter. Out of my company here. Yeah, so I'm happy with that for team play. Like I said, I'd recommend other helicopters first, but if you're looking for something for a good group of friends or a, a company of four people, this is a great little uh, helicopter to uh, to grind away with, to do some sights here and to do some headhunters with and and uh, to do the uh, CO crate missions with if you're running around as a team, you know, those kinds of things. Sometimes when you're with newbies, like I sometimes am, uh, and we're all newbies at one time, you know, so there's nothing wrong with it. But, uh, you know, it can take a lot to learn the game, and basically I can go back and forth in the time that they'll figure out how to how to get in a vehicle and go down the street, you know? So, as, as we all are like that, right? And eventually, most of us get fast and get to knowing what we're doing. So sometimes it helps to have a vehicle like this that gives you a, a center point for your team, you know, something to hop in and out of, so newbies don't have to figure out where to go or how to call in what vehicle or what do I do, where do I go? You just, you know, hop in the vehicle and and uh, aim the guns at the bad guys. <laughs> it's nice and straightforward and keeps people together. Yeah, I like this. Nice and smooth flying. Wish it was a little faster, but it doesn't feel slow. It just doesn't feel fast. You know, it's on that mid-range. Yeah. Now, team vehicles, there's probably not too many that I can think of off the top of my head. There's the Avenger that comes with the Doomsday facility that you've got to buy, and but those can be a little pricey. And they can be a little big, but I really like the Avenger. I'd probably recommend the Avenger because this is not very strong. One single explosion will destroy you, so a single rocket or whatnot. When it comes to explosive sniper rounds, it can take two to three, but otherwise any single explosion will usually destroy you. So not a good vehicle, no countermeasures either. So more for fighting uh, missions and things like that than other people. But, you know, if you do have a well-trained team, it can be a quite deadly aircraft if you come across people and just hit them by surprise, I suppose. Yeah. But I would call it a mission and fun vehicle for uh, for friends. More than I would recommend it for actually using it. Like for your own solo grinding or anything like that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I looked away for a second. <laughs> Let's go see if it's uh, available in the office menu too, which I think it is. Let's go find out if I'm right. And that means that you can always leave your office um, right into the helicopter, which is kind of a nice feature sometimes when there's other people around on the session and you want to just jump right into an air vehicle. Not all the air vehicles are available, only most of the older ones. So most of the nicer vehicles that people want are not actually available from the, from the uh, assistant menu here that we're going to go see. All right. Yeah, so the name Valkyrie comes from uh, Ride of the Valkyries, and it's another hint that it's uh, meant for the uh, UH-1 Huey throwback for the uh, Raya, for the Apocalypse Now. You know, Apocalypse Now movie is a famous war movie, and in there there's a famous scene where they come, uh, uh, where they attack a bunch of Viet Cong villages and napalm everything, and uh, and it's uh, all done to Ride of the Valkyries. So, hence the name Valkyrie.
Not only that, but I guess in the game's uh, original files, the uh, the helicopter was called Napalm, was nicknamed the Napalm. Our so another hint leader. that it was uh, meant to be the uh, the Rite of Valkyries kind of inspired, or I should say uh, Apocalypse Now inspired helicopter. Hey, Benny. Hi there. Hi. What do you need? Uh, I need to see if this vehicle's How in the menu. Choose between your children. Oh, wrong menu. This menu. As soon as you've decided, there it is. The Pegasus rep to prepare the vehicle. All right. Unfortunately, she wants two thousand dollars for them to get it ready. But that's that's change as you get making money. But sometimes when you want it, and then from here it would give me the menu choice of who wants to be the pilot, and we, I could put my whole team, my whole company team, right into Whatever the helicopter. You want. I'll get him to bring it up to the helipad. Which is a nice feature for some of the vehicles that are available on that menu. Yeah, and this counts as a medium aircraft inside the hangar. And I think that is all there is to our Huey. Oh, hey, look, our uh, our decal's back. Oh, maybe I see if I can get it in cinematic mode here. Oh, come on, there it is, Mrs. Zangudo. Woohoo! Four changes. Yeah. So we got it back. <laughs> all right, small things, right? Moose, amuse small minds like me. <laughs> Very cool. So, and hopefully you guys will see more of this coming up when I get together with some friends. Like I said, kind of a good grinding vehicle when you got the extra money. And you happen to find sometimes you're playing with randoms or friends. It's a great vehicle to have on hand. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> thanks for watching everybody i'm the missing sock thanks for being here thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing and i'll see you again very soon we are going to do some uh, laid back grinding very very soon i just wanted to grab this one just before that sale ended i've kind of missed out on a lot of the sale this week so i thought i would got to get something while the uh, pegasus sale is still on so keep your eye open for any uh valkyrie sales of course and then other than that war stock sales or pegasus sales and maybe you can get one of these too like i said when you've got the extra money and you got some uh, friends to help you out with it <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Maybe next time we'll use this on some headhunters with some friends. I'd show you a headhunter now, but it'd be kind of hard. I'd have to use the, the rotor blade to, ca uh, to kill anybody. It'd be a very difficult headhunter. <laughs> like this. Look out. Oh. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Not recommended. All right, I'll see you guys soon for the news video of the day. That should be coming out soon, the new Newswire, hopefully. Hopefully Rockstar won't take too long to get it out, and uh, hopefully there's be some uh, good sales for the new week. Maybe some new content, but I'm not expecting any, but we'll see. I'm hoping some soon, though. Hmm. Take care, everybody. goes up really fast though. She's actually pretty smooth. I can land this. Oh, look at that. That's like a perfect, perfect landing. I was going to say really smooth for cinematic. <laughs> Again, small things. <laughs> I can do cool looking videos with this helicopter. <laughs> There's always director's mode, but that takes a lot of effort. <laughs> that takes hind, hind thought, forethought, and hindsight, yes, to go into the director's mode and make things. Cinematic mode is kind of nice. You can just go right into it. Take care, everybody. See you soon.